Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love college football as much as I do. Uh, yeah, I do think Clemson is going to be a lot better in 2024. I think they'll have a great team. Uh, biggest games on the schedule, obviously the three that there are, Georgia Bulldogs, Florida State Seminoles, and the South Carolina Gamecocks. South Carolina is a big game from every year because of the rivalry. And given that they have lost to them at least once in the last two years, it, it makes it a little bit bigger. Because Shane Beamer, outside of this past year, you know, they had a lot of injuries and stuff. They did have back-to-back -back winning seasons. Uh, so, yeah. But I think they'll be a lot better for the main reason. Um, Clemson hit a stride after Dabo Sweeney had that call-in guy. <laughs> that guy call in and basically talk trash about him. So Dabo Sweeney gave him a well-deserved response. Um... What was it? They went on to win five games in a row. They beat a ranked Notre Dame team at home. Really, their only home loss all year was Florida State, and we all saw what Florida State went on to become, a 13-1 team that arguably deserved to be in the playoffs with a record and winning the conference and going undefeated until their Orange Bowl when most of their team didn't want to play that game. And I can understand why because, you know, it's like, you know, my father made the perfect analogy. He said, well, it's like being guaranteed a bonus if you do this and that, and you do this and that, and you still aren't good enough to get it. So, well, why would I do that? You know, why would I do something or try to earn something that I try to compete for something that I've earned above that? So I understand. But back to Clemson. Um, I do think Clemson's going to be really good because really – what hurt them all year really weren't, wasn't because teams were better than them. I mean, Miami was not better than Clemson. Uh, NC State was not better than Clemson. Duke was not better than Clemson. I don't even think, to be honest, looking back at that whole game, I don't really think Florida State was a better team than Clemson either. You know, Now, granted, they beat Clemson, but Clemson kind of beat themselves in those games with missed field goals, turnovers, you know, not playing good football fundamentally. Outside of that... They ran the ball up and down anyone's throat if they wanted to. And that included Florida State in that game. They ran the ball pretty good on them. Really better than anybody else did against Florida State all year. If you look at it, to be honest, they threw the football pretty well. Ked Klubnik started hitting a stride. He turned the ball over a lot less in the second half of the year than he did the first half of the year, obviously. And Clemson's defense was Clemson's defense. It, it was lights out. It was a top 10 legit defense. So I know they lost some players on the defense, but... Clemson's Clemson. They've had some great defenses, you know. This past year, you can't say it was because of Brent Venables. He hasn't been there for a few years. He's been the head coach of Oklahoma, enjoying some success lately. And um, uh, um, I think Clemson's defense will be just about as good, if not better, than what it was last year. Uh, I think their offense will be a lot better with Cade Klubnix. Now that he's had a full year of experience, and now he knows what works for him and what doesn't work for him. He's got the same offensive coordinator as last year. Dabo Sweeney, you know Dabo Sweeney's a really good coach. So I just think Clemson's going to do pretty well this year. They should win no less than 10 games this year, you know. And, I, yeah, I do think they have a chance to beat a Florida State team that, yeah, went out and got some more elite players, had a great recruiting class. But they proved they can compete with that team and beat them if they play their best football, you know, and do all the fundamental, the small things right in that game because they did not and still almost beat Florida State. But missed field goals, turnovers hurt them. And they didn't turn the ball over much in that game, but that's beside the point. Uh, I think they have what it takes to beat Georgia if they play their best game. I know Georgia has elite talent, but Clemson has really good players, really good talent. They got Dabble Sweeney, who's experienced, knows how to win big games. Obviously, he's done it. And, and Clemson has been a winning program in the last 10 years. You know? So if anybody can... Bring Clemson out and elevate them back to where they could and should be, in my opinion. It's Dabble Sweeney. Again, he's a petty guy. Look at the reasons he's won championships and games before. He loves it when the media talks trash about him and his team. He loves it when fans disrespect him. Obviously, that he loves that even more. And I'm being sarcastic when I'm saying he loves this because he doesn't. It motivates him. puts a fire under his rear end and his team and his program's rear end to play better and win more games. So don't be surprised if Clemson messes around and beats Georgia, beats Florida State, and is back to where they were. Don't be surprised. I'm, I'm just, I'm not guaranteeing they'll be better. I'm not guaranteeing they'll beat Florida State or Georgia or any other great teams. But don't be surprised if it does happen. Because I got a feeling Clemson's back.